Very rarely has research in astronomy been done in pursuit of a specific practical goal. For most of human history, the main driving force behind astronomers and stargazers has always been curiosity, the desire to simply know more about the universe that we live in. There have been exceptions, such as early in human history, where knowing the position of the stars in the night sky was crucial in order to predict the changing seasons and when to plant or harvest crops. And before the invention of GPS, ocean sailors would navigate the seas by starlight. Astronomy remains today as the purest form of curiosity-driven science. No one goes into astronomy expecting to invent the next iPhone smartwatch or anything like that. Yet many unexpected practical benefits are offshoots from astronomy and astrophysics. The disembodied voice of your GPS navigation systems are only made possible by a fleet of 24 satellites that circle high above the Earth continuously emitting navigation signals. More great inventions are sure to come, but we have no idea of knowing exactly when or how. The most expensive tools of astronomy are the telescopes. Massive radio telescope arrays like the VLA in New Mexico, which stands for Very Large Array, no surprise that it's very large, and high-tech space observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope are the equivalent of the pyramids and coliseums of today. They're impressive to look at, even for people who don't know a thing about how they work, but it's still very important to understand the costs and benefits of astronomy. Who pays for all of it, and why? And like Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan said in a certain classic 1998 action comedy, what it is a good for, absolutely a lot of things actually. One of the most iconic telescopes of all time, the Hubble Space Telescope that inspired an entire generation of science geeks, as well as directing the attention of many ordinary people to the wonders of space and space exploration, cost a total of 2.5 billion US dollars. In return for that investment, the Hubble Space Telescope has given us a better understanding of the size of the universe that we live in and a better idea of how old it is, further tackling the most basic human questions of life, like where are we and where do we come from. To the geeks and techno savants of society, that's a pretty damn good deal. But what about the common people? The small folk, the bakers, the school teachers, and the hot girls. Was the $2.5 billion worth it? With $2.5 billion, you could buy half of Tumblr.com. You could buy 625 million Xbox Ones or PS4s, you console peasants. You could buy 12 F-22 fighter jets, or you could buy a single Curiosity rover. Astronomy has always relied on patrons, private individuals, societies, and groups with the wealth and desire to support science for science's sake. The Keck telescopes were built with a $150 million donation from the Keck Foundation to Caltech University. The Keck Foundation is a charitable foundation that originally had ties to oil companies. That's pretty impressive, but since the practical benefits from the undertaking of astronomy are inconsistent, most profit-making corporations whose main priority it is to make money are not willing to immediately pay for astronomical research. Sorry Beyonce, it's not girls who run the world, it's money. Throughout history, it was governments that played a big role in supporting astronomy. During Renaissance times, it was the kings and queens that paid for basic astronomical research, hoping that new discoveries would bring them fame. In modern times, astronomy is fueled by tax-supported government programs. That's what pays for all the space centers, the rockets, and the observatories. That's what gets you the pretty pictures of galactic nebulae for your desktop wallpaper. The universe is yours because you paid for it. But in today's age of financial crisis, one Malaysia DB scandals, Obama this, Obama that, thanks Obama, we wonder, does the benefit of curiosity-driven science justify its cost? The answer is, we don't know. But this is where I make my stand. The scientists would say that astronomy speaks towards the human desire to know and explore. We began our story as wanderers on the plains of Africa, and we continue it today as wanderers in the solar system. 
For many people, that feeling of wonder experienced when learning about stars and galaxies is totes worth the expense. But some people are still not convinced it's either iPhone or GTFO. To all you Martians listening, that's Earth slang for get the fuck out! Okay, level with me for a bit. Teflon, the stuff that makes non-stick pans non-stick, was the only plastic durable enough for use in the Apollo space program. The stuff on your frying pan has been to the moon. Freeze-dried foods were originally meant for astronauts. Laptops and microelectronics arose from the space race between America and the Soviet Union. We use this stuff today to look at cat pictures on Instagram. These are everyday objects with space research as their origins. The image processing techniques used by astronomers to analyze pictures of the cosmos have been applied to diagnose breast cancer in x-ray images. Given enough time, this shit can save lives. Ladies and gentlemen, if that's not a good enough case to fight for space, then I don't know what is. My name is Son of Terra 92 and this has been Science and Society. For many people, that feeling of awe and wonder experienced when learning what the, blah, 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 fuck.